And the R-Type hype continues. Been playing a bit of R-Type Final 2 on both, both the PlayStation 4 and the Switch. Enjoying them. This one does have some long loading times. Uh, it's not my favorite, the loading times, but I'm dealing with it. I, I'm enjoying the game so far. Not haven't played it a ton, um, but I was just looking forward to it. I'm happy to have a slower paced shooter, but today we're here to talk about the R-Type original sound box. This was right around $100 if I recall correctly, maybe a tad bit more actually. And it's interesting because now that R-Type Final 2 has come out, there's a new R-Type on the block. And this is the original sound box, but it doesn't have any <laughs> soundtrack stuff for that game. Uh, so I mean, I have that uh, separately, but it would have been cool to have included in this box. They even have the stuff from the PSP games, which aren't even shooters. So. I don't know, I think that's really cool, but it would have been neat if they had included Final 2. But there's, I'm sure there are reasons for that and whatever. This is an awesome box, uh, and the contents are even awesomer. So, ooh, upside down. Let me just show it to you. Okay. So inside we have this lovely kind of I don't know what you call it. Ooh, I accidentally showed the codes. That's not good. So you can get um, digital versions of, uh, let's see, R-Type 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I don't know what that means. It might just be the whole sound box in four downloads. I'll have to look into that. Um, right, so quickly, here are the discs contents. I've listened to the first disc and that uh, it was nostalgic. Uh, I love listening to game music, especially in the background while I'm doing something, because it, it's, uh, it's good for background music. I can still concentrate on what it is that I need to be doing. So I'm looking forward to getting through all of these and I'll probably put them in my phone as well so that I can just have, have them with me all the time. I actually need to do that with a bunch of my game soundtracks. That's a project that I could spend a day on easily. If I had a day to spend. <laughs> so there's that. I've seen the box over here. Now let's get to the discs. They have really nice art. And the packaging is, yeah, it's pretty good. There you go. I'll have to take the top disc off each one so that you can see it. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can get a closer view. So I'm not sure if the downloadable stuff is just these first four discs or if it's four downloads that includes all of the discs. I guess I'll find out eventually. I also don't know if those can be placed onto iTunes, or I mean, I'm sure they can be, but it's just, I don't know. I'm really not into digital stuff. That's why I buy this kind of <laughs> physical media. But I mean, if they're gonna give it to me, I will probably use it. Awesome art on these CDs. Not that you need me to tell you that, it's right there for the eyes to behold. It's a lot of CDs. And when you take the last two out, you have a little bit of art showing some of the ships. Sorry, my tripod is not stable. Oops. You have to be smarter than the disc case, which I clearly am not. I wasn't going to make a video about this, but I figured I'd just go ahead and throw it up there. I need to go to work, so <laughs> that's my excuse for the poor quality today. I'll have to think of a new one next time. All right, so there you have it. Ten CDs in one lovely box. Thank you.
50. I don't know which way to show it. Here we go. That looks nice. All right. Zoom out a bit. Yay. Let's make a thumbnail. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.